Oh, okay. Well, let's call the meeting order then. Okay, Nancy, don't breathe. Okay, let's call roll. Roll starting with Lauren Berenstein, Luann Montgomery, Barbara Schmidt, Michael Carpentier, Tanya Cummings, Nancy Swan, Doug Brown. Okay, everybody's got me, uh, minutes in their packet. I don't know if you've read it or not. Um, I've read through them. They seem pretty accurate, but take a second to look at them, and when somebody wants to make a motion for approval, we're ready. I make a motion that we accept the, the minutes um, as presented for October the 14th, 2019. I second the motion. Motion Tanya made Cummings. by... Motion made by Lou Ann, seconded by Tanya. All in favor? Aye. The minutes pass. <clears throat> Next item on the agenda, the financial report. I think it's pretty simple. We really didn't have any expenditures other than our normal salaries, um, attorney and deer management salary. So that's pretty straightforward. If, any, if we have any questions, we'll address them. If not, do I have a motion for approval? All right, so back, back to the financials. Are there any questions? If not, do I have a motion for approval? I'll, I'll make a motion for approval of the financials. I'll second it. Can everybody say their name for me? Yeah. Oh, you do Nancy that? Swan seconds. Okay, thank you. Barbara Schmidt made Barbara a motion. Schmidt. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. The motion pa or the, the financials passed. Uh, wildlife, wildlife incident reports. We actually had six this time, which is a lot. And then uh, Luann added two more to the package, but I think those are ones that we discussed last meeting. One was. One was, um, and one is a more current one. So we have seven in this um, in this this, this meeting. Um, it's nor it was pretty much typical stuff. We had a deer that was hung in a fence. A couple of them hit by cars. Um, one one of them uh, in the initial report it was a buck they thought maybe it got shot with an arrow but randy said they did a uh, uh, ryan the his son that's a vet did a little autopsy on him he actually got poked by an antler um fighting another deer so yeah yeah that's pretty cool um <laughs> <laughs> So, um, Tell your son we said thank you for doing that. Yeah. So, thumb through them. Any questions on the uh, wildlife incident, incident reports? Yeah, I'm not getting them. You what? I'm not getting them. Oh, that's right. You're not getting them. I don't get them either. Are we supposed to be sending them out? And what's the meth? What's the the, the on the on the wildlife field? Yeah. Usually, I get them from the police department. Whenever somebody fills them out, mm -hmm. you can go into the website and they have a blank form for anybody to use if they have one. Mm -hmm. well, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, Ms. Julian, I think they used to send a copy <laughs> to you and then one to me. But I know I would get one usually from the police department. Mm -hmm. They get somewhere. How does it how does Yeah, it we, we would get uh, every push member. Your, push your would get, um, oh, every member would get one. That's every right, member yeah. would get one. And Gina used to send them out, but we're, we're not getting them at all. Well, probably. Um, well, Francis, Francis probably is not aware of doing yeah. that yet. She is it's, fairly new, so I'll certainly mention that to her and ask her to send them out to the entire committee. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, thank you. I think if y'all would like that, we can certainly make it happen. So, All right. Thank you. Anything else?
Okay, we don't have to we don't have to vote on that, do we? Wildlife incident reports? No. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. Citizen participation. Do we have anybody here that wants to say, talk, or ask a question? Okay. We'll zoom right through that. New business topics. Um, review and take possible action on deer management expenditures and issues related thereto. Um, Randy, do you see anything coming up? It's going to be a pretty cheap year if we don't move any deer, right? Mm. <laughs> any questions for Randy? You got anything to report? Do you want to say anything? Pretty much static. Yeah. 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 That is something that we will. Tanya. Uh, Tanya Cummings, uh, Randy, have we been able to get any more coyotes, or are they just kind of hit and miss when you see one? That's about all you can do. Next door. To work with you on it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Larry oh, Morris. Oh, oh, oh. So, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Larry's kind of. Yeah, he wouldn't want. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. He's got a lot of land that would be ideal mm -hmm. to set up. But well, we know that's where I saw the big ax a few years ago. Of course, you know, yeah. I mean, and I'm sure they're down in that county and down way back there near the town. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure they're down okay. there somewhat either. But, uh, but other than that, no. And uh, here we're seeing them probably February and March. We go that February and get to go down here probably three more and get more reports. Oh. Yeah, and since we don't have to worry about moving any deer or anything, we we can focus on that. So anything I can do to help or whatever, let me know. So. Okay, any more questions for Randy on trapping, transporting? Okay, next next new topic: uh, discuss chronic waste samples and issues related. Um, I guess the good thing is, since we're not moving any deer, we don't have to take any samples this year. But April the 1st is the dead, is the start of the new season. So we can, you know, any, any accidents we have or deer that, 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 that get, uh, die, we can start taking chronic waste samples again up April the 1st. So everybody please be aware of that. And if you know of a deer that's, that's laying or whatever, contact me or Randy or Kelly or somebody. So we'll make sure to get those samples taken. And at least that way we'll have them accumulated. If we decide to move deer next fall, we'll be that you know that much further ahead. Any chronic waste questions? Um, okay. Review and dis discuss and take possible action on the 2019-2020 trapping season and predatory control related thereto. Um, we've already talked about the predators. We know we're not going to trap any deer this year. Um, and we really don't won't take any action until we do our fall deer count next year. When we do our spring count, we'll kind of compare it to last year. 
And if it's up, we'll start scratching our head and thinking about transporting and, and, and talking about how many, based on that count, we might have to transport. And then we'll look at the fall count and either confirm or non-confirm it. But it's a little premature that right now to really do anything other than start thinking ahead. So, Any questions about trap transport? I think one of the good things is if we do our counts and we decide we want to move some deer this year, I think there's some ranches that had some anthrax problems and stuff that want deer, which we were concerned with that at one time. So that will be a big plus if we do get to that point. Um, okay, the last new, new business topic is review, discuss, and take possible action on the spring deer count based on moon phase. We've never really done that before, but um, I know that... It's in the back of our packets. Yeah. Um, now, I just put that in there, um, sir, so I don't know if y'all want to base it on that. But yeah, we'll, we'll look at it and see and, and, and take recommendations, but... You know, we randomly pick a day that's convenient and at the right time of year and we do the count. And, you know, sometimes I think we get better counts than others. Um, I think our last fall count was was down from what it should be. And what makes me think that is we only counted 12 bucks. And I see 12 bucks in my block alone, you know, a lot of times. So for whatever reason, I just don't think the deer were out in numbers like they, they are sometimes. But that's okay. It was our deer count. We're going to base our decisions on it. And, um, you know, I think as, as we go from year to year, consistency is important that we kind of do it, you know, with all the factors being the same. That being said, we do have a, if we want to talk about when we want to do our next, our next, uh, our spring count, we do have a moon calendar there that shows when the moon's full, when it's empty, when it's quarter full. And I would suspect, I mean, this, was really was initiated by Kelly that the ideal time to do a count would be when there's no moon, no moon, so the deer are out during the day and out not out at night. Um, however, that being said, I did some backwards research and we had our fall count um, where the counts were down. It was two days after no moon or two days before no moon. So basically, wasn't any moon. We did that count. So, I mean, there's a lot of other factors, but I think it's something we certainly should consider. Um, is there a month that we usually do this? In April. Okay. And, and there is a date. I, I pulled it up on this phase calendar. There's a Thursday where it's two days after no moon. And I wrote it down, but I can't find it. Well, it's best to do it when there's no moon. Um, the deer te theoretically should be moving more during the day when there's no moon at night. The new moon's on the 27th. April, let's see. Normally Yeah, so um, there. Yeah, there's a new moon on April the 22nd, which is a Wednesday. So maybe we want to consider doing our count on the day after that, the 23rd, which would be a day after no moon Thursday. on a Thursday. Does that sound feasible? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, as a guy that's deer hunted all his life, I can tell you, you just don't, don't know. <laughs> sometimes they move in the morning, sometimes they move in the afternoon. <laughs> yeah, I personally, you know, I feel like in Hollywood Park, I see more deer in the morning around daylight. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, that Lauren has brought that up, and that's a consideration. It just, the, the negatives were... A lot of people, that's when they're going to soccer games with their kids and baseball games. And I'm very rarely here on Saturdays. You know, it's just, it's an awkward time. But if we wanted to do it in the morning and, and, and try that, we certainly could. I mean, it, 
do it on a Saturday morning instead of a Thursday night to see what happens in the morning. I mean, I, I only suggested that. Kelly, Kelly, would you please go to the mic? I only suggested that just because I thought it'd be fun for citizen participation to have like the kids come out and get the golf carts and everyone's up in the morning. But it doesn't. That was, you know, it doesn't really matter to me. Kelly. The concern that I see with changing the times is y'all have consistently done it in the evenings. You're going to see a drastically different yeah. count. So, I mean, I think the mornings is always better. You're going to get a better count. Oh, I didn't know. Without a doubt. But then you can't compare it to last year's because you did different times. I, I think that's important that we're consistent. You know, yeah. We've always done it in the afternoons. Even though there's more deer in the morning, we've always done it in the afternoons, and we always make our decisions based on what happened last year and the year before and the year before. So I really think we ought to keep it in the evening. So Even though if, I think we'd count more deer in the morning. What if we spiced it up and did it twice this time? We did it in the evening, and then we also did it in the morning just just to see. I think that might not be a bad idea. Yeah. And then we don't have to keep doing it, but just to... Have but what we could do, it. just have it like a Hollywood Park fun day. You know, we can do our official count on a Thursday. You're talking about doing it in the spring or in the fall? Either. I think if we're going to do a morning, we ought to do it in the fall when the fawns are out, you know. Yeah, so, we'll make it the fawn. The, yeah, we'll make it a kind of a fun event or something, and we'll do a, our official count on a Thursday afternoon, but then we'll do a, if for a fun count for those that weren't to turn out and just compare it if y'all want to. I might add that our uh, spring counts have been done in May. Well, they've been done in May? Not, not in April. Uh, I was thinking that it was in May, and I double-checked, and um, it was done this, uh, it was done last year on May 16th. So that changes the date. Okay, okay. All right, so I think that's what I looked at, and I looked at, okay, so May 22nd is a new moon, is a Friday, so I suggest the 21st, the day before the new moon, Thursday the 21st. And then on in 2018, it was done on May the 10th. So, yeah, we've been, it's been in May. Okay, does that require a vote? Okay, so I think I had saw nods of heads where everybody's agreement, let's do it at a new moon. We have an opportunity to do it on Thursday, May the 21st, the day before the new moon. So if somebody thinks that's a good idea, we need a motion. I make a motion that we do our spring count on Thursday, May 21st. Motion made by Nancy Swan. I second that. Seconded by Lou Ann. What, what time was that going to be, sir? What? I don't remember, but I, th I think we had a, we did it at a good time, so I think we need to keep it at the Let's same see. time. Just Let me look at because I've got. Let's see what was on May eleventh. So maybe sixteenth. We had it at seven o'clock. Um, so uh, last year in twenty nineteen, in twenty eighteen we had it at seven o'clock. So meet at six thirty or six forty five. To start at seven, we had it at seven o'clock in twenty seventeen <laughs> on May eighteenth. So, so uh, if that's what we did, I think we should be consistent. Do you want to amend your motion to state that, Nancy? Uh, seven o'clock. <laughs> okay, the mo <laughs> she added seven o'clock to the motion. Do you want to add seven o'clock to the second of the motion? <laughs> I'll second that. All right. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. The motion passes. Um, Janice, thank you for doing the moon thing for us. Oh, sure. Appreciate I appreciate yeah. that. I pulled it from the internet, so I don't know. Well, you're welcome. You're oh, if it's from the internet, it's true. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Okay, that's all our agenda items. Uh, our next thing we need to talk about is when we want to have our next meeting. Um, we don't really have a lot of hot hot topics floating around, and I'm not one to, to meet just to say we met. Uh, do y'all want to skip February and meet in March? Okay. Um, somebody have a calendar? I did. Yeah. The second Monday? Yes. We have you down for... Uh, 
March, correct? Is that what you said? March the 9th? March the 9th, yes, at 6.30. That's, 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 that's not that's spring break, That is, is spring break, is so spring I won't break. be here. Oh, it is I don't think I will either. Break? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Oh, well, that may... So we could either do March the 3rd or March the 17th. March, uh, March. March 9th is the next Oh, we're doing Mondays. I'm sorry. We could do that. So the second or the sixteenth. We do it. We could. We, we could skip to April. If, yeah. You don't want to skip to April. I mean, we could. If something weird comes up, we can always call a special meeting. Yeah. I'm looking at April as the thirteenth. That's when you have the. Okay. Five thirty. I like the 5.30 minutes. I do, too. I do, too. Okay, that requires a motion. I'll make a motion that we have our next year meeting on 13 April 2020 at 5.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Thank you, our Barbara. Barbara Schmitz. Thank you. Barbara made a motion to have a next meeting on that date. Do we have a second? I can second that. Lauren Garens, wait a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. The motion carries. Um, that's the end of our business, unless we have anything else to discuss, which I don't think we can because we don't have it on the agenda. Um, we need a motion for adjournment. Um, it is approximately 5.55, and I move that this... Do we have the next meeting's agenda set? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we do. We have to. Never mind. <laughs> well, we'll have our normal, regular. Yeah, the same items. Um, yeah, new business topics. We'll talk expenditures again. Um, since we'll leave the chronic waste discussion on the agenda since it will be after April the 1st, and if we have the opportunity to collect samples, we can talk about those. Um, we'll, t we'll leave the number three on there, the trapping season and predatory control, and Randy can give us an update on the coyote situation. Um, yeah, we don't need to talk about the spring deer count. Is there anything else, any other new business we need to talk about? It's kind of boring around here. We don't trap any deer. I can't think of anything else, anything else we need to talk about. Do we need to discuss putting signs out? Um, that comes in the... That was already decided. Okay, we already voted on that last time. Well, I think we voted on the last meeting, didn't we? Oh, did? Yes. A resolution. Yeah. That was nice. So yeah. what I remember... Once I pull the signs, the next meeting I'll bring in and tell you how many signs we're short. We can order that. Okay. Yeah, we'll have that discussion. And I have one. Okay. But I think that can be What if we talk about feeding them, like what we can feed them and what we can tell the people in the community to feed them? No? We've, are, we've already done that. It's on and, the website. And I've done it two or three times now, and it's on the Hollywood Park website. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we are allowed to feed them or we're not? Oh, we are allowed, no. yeah. It's not against the law, but we don't feed them. Yes, we do. <laughs> but there's a whole list of, of appropriate food to feed them okay. on the website. Okay. okay. And, and that, that, that's an interesting thought because if y'all ever have topics that you want to be educated on, um, just let me know, and we'll do some research and see if we can find an expert on the topic, maybe bring them in, have a little briefing or something. I mean, the more we know about deer, the better we're going to be at doing our job. So, now, Talking about that, what's the difference between antlers and horns, Randy? Um, <laughs> deer, deer have horns. <laughs> 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 some antlers have deer. Okay, let's back into the adjournment motion. Do we have a, a, a motion to adjourn the meeting? It is now approximately 6 p.m., and I move that we adjourn the meeting for January the 13th, 2020. Motion made for adjournment by Luann. Second, Tanya Cummings. Seconded by Tanya. All in favor, say aye. 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 aye.
the meeting is over. How many people are going to go watch football game? <laughs> well, that was a whole